So we just changed the game with this one, introducing AG number two, the newest groundbreaking artificial intelligence software in the game. We got things like AI text generator, AI image generator, AI code generator, AI chat box, AI text to speech, and voiceover capabilities. Yes, it does coding. Yes, it does images. It literally does everything. Make sure you click the link at the top line of the description box. If you're a content creator, if you're an artist, if you're just a regular person, I want to take your life to the next level. Kodak Black. Let's talk about Kodak real quick, man. Um, he talked about, you know, really being self-conscious, wanting to get off the drugs, and now really wanting to move away from performing his hit single, Super Gremlins, because there's a line on there where he says that, you know, he ate a perk. You know, he knew he knew it was um, fake and he ate the perk. And then he, after that, he said he used to eat like 100 a day. Jesus and Christ. he would have died if they were fake. And then he followed up with a... Uh, Stop uh, performing yeah. super grim and period. I hit that little I'm sober for the most part. Pause it right quick, little brother. Pause it right quick, little brother. Just right quick. And I say this like around my people and them so they know like, they know like, I could talk about it or not. Feel me for the most part, bro. I've been soothing with bro. Like, let me tell you this. Like, like Batman, bro, I couldn't even wave it till like Saturday. <laughs> shit, man. Like, that's like that's that's a motivation for niggas to feel like, you know what? If this a, if the gremlin could do it, you could do it, y'all could do it. Hey, y'all and chicks like bro, like by like, back seat. Like, you should see like, oh, don't do drugs, don't do this, don't do that. Like the they ain't never gave no explanation. They ain't never like, why? Why not? I'm telling you that. He said he's thinking about not performing that song again. What's your thoughts? You know, Kodak Black's my dog. We've been yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. this for him for a very long time. Right. And I'm happy to hear that he's starting to kind of think on a different level. He's always been that kind of thinker. Clearly, he was under the influence of something. You know what I'm saying? Under the influence of pressure of, of this day and age. No excuses. That man made his mistakes. Has to hold himself accountable. I hope he is genuine. I hope he's genuine. We've seen a lot of people come out and say these type of things. Young boy, um, Dirk, other mm -hmm. artists come. Meek Mill mm -hmm. raises a, uh, you know what I mean, uh, rings a bell. Have come out and said these things and acknowledged the fact that some of their lyrics are harmful and they can't repeat them. And then three months later, they're doing a song with the exact same shit in it. Mm -hmm. Or we see them online and they are pilled out of their motherfucking mind. Or we see them locked up because they have this on them or that on them. I hope there's some real self-reflection and some accountability checks being going on in there and that this message isn't just for, like we just talked about in our last segment, internet clout, internet attention, right. internet uh, notoriety, and you still behind the scenes doing the same shit. Um, I rock with him. I want to see him win. I want to see this be real. I hope it is. And I'm going to celebrate him like hell if we talk about this this time next year and he's really still on this. Yeah. But I want to wait and see. And this is what we all want. Like well, Some of these rappers, you know, I, I feel like Sometimes we may come down a little hard on them, but some I look at the big picture like, nah. Because when you're younger, you need your parent to correct you. Yeah. And you can't you can't feel like you're coming down too hard. Like, nah, you're a drug addict. You need to stop that. Yeah. Not only are you a drug addict, you're promoting this to young children. You're promoting this to people and making it sound like it's the cool thing to do. Yeah. Young kids that follow you, you're talking about eating perks, fake perk gazettes. That's the issue. That's a crisis. That's nothing to just sweep under the rug. Right. So, you know, I just hope that he's serious about it, that he moves forward to sobriety. And because he's a great artist, an even greater person, and um, I hope the best for Kodak Black, man. But um, remember the message that you're putting out there. It is getting through to people, especially the negative ones. That's just the way things work. Unfortunately. This is, and this is why you got these different companies out there that go to these superstars, these rappers, and they put their products behind them because they know they're going to sell them. They know they have influence. They know that they're marketing tools. And that's why they put these products behind them. If they if they weren't effective, these companies would not put their products behind these certain artists. So um, it's, a, it's, it's a good first step for Kodak. Hopefully he's growing up. Hopefully you know he can uh, maintain this. I think a lot of people make a mistake, especially in the public eye. As soon as they get a revelation, as soon as they get some type of awakening, they want to immediately go to the masses and tell them about that awakening or tell them about that journey that they're about to begin. But they're literally in the 
infant stages of that journey. Right. For example, oh, I just turned vegan. You All you want to do is talk about vegan stuff the next three, four hours, <laughs> and you've lasted for a week, and now you don't do it no more. You get into a new relationship, and you got 30 million pictures of this new person, and you're talking about quotes of love, and then a week later, it's gone. <laughs> We've seen that so many times. I hope Kodak Black isn't doing one of them things where he finally felt like, okay, what I was doing is wrong. You had a moment of awakening. You want the world to know it, but you ain't really ready to know it yet. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, and I think he was kind of talking about like you know, um, he was like, yeah, you know, he can go two days now without it. So he's definitely in the infant stages. Every he probably had to get on it every day. Now he's going one, two days without it. So it's going to be a process. And my only thing in that process, if I was around him, is like, listen, you only doing this shit for two days, bro. Shut up. Don't even put it on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Grind your way through this. You may, it may be a time where you fuck up and mess up and have to go back. Right. You have to start back at step one. But at least no one knows that you messed up and they're waiting for you to mess up. Yeah, Get right first. That's why I kind of appreciate I don't know if you know this, Dirk. We ain't seen him for a while. There's reports that he was in rehab doing this thing. I kind of appreciate and applaud that. He did it silently. No yeah. one knew. Yeah. He wasn't out here making statements, did what he had to do. And hopefully he's straight too, man. Yeah, man, but that's another episode. I'll cover the other story tomorrow, the okay. Kobe story. But um, yeah, another episode of the Hip Hop. Let you ask something, no? Uh, real quick, real go ahead, quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Julio Fulio. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about Did that. Did you see this shit? I seen it.